Hi, I'm Brian S. Mahoney of BrianSMahoneyOnline.com. What Diagnostic Medical Sonographers Do? Diagnostic medical sonographers operate special imaging equipment to create images or conduct tests. The images and test results help physicians assess and diagnose medical conditions. Some technologists assist physicians and surgeons during surgical procedures. Work environment. Most diagnostic medical sonographers work full time. Most diagnostic imaging workers were employed in hospitals, while others worked in healthcare settings such as physician offices and medical diagnostic laboratories. How to become a diagnostic medical sonographer. Diagnostic medical sonographers need formal education such as an associate's degree or a post-secondary certificate. Many employers also require professional certification. Pay. In May of 2012, the medium annual wage for diagnostic medical sonographers was $65,860. Job Outlook. Employment of diagnostic medical sonographers is projected to grow 39% from 2015 to 2022, much faster than the average for all occupations. Preparation. A good job interview starts well before the job seeker and interviewer meet. Preparation can be as important as the interview itself. Researching, practicing, and dressing appropriately are the first steps to making the most of a job interview. Research. One of the best but most frequently overlooked ways to demonstrate enthusiasm for a job is to research both the company and the position for which you are being interviewed. Employers say they are impressed by well-informed job seekers. Before arriving for an interview, you should know what the company does, how large it is, and recent changes it has undergone, and what role you could play in its organization. Try to learn about the company's goals and values. With these facts, you can show how your qualifications match the company's needs. The company itself is often the easiest place to start your search. Many businesses fill their websites with information tailored to job seekers. These sites often include a history of the company and a description of its products and customers. And many companies' human resource departments will send recruiting information if you request it. Public libraries and career centers also have valuable information about employers, including companies' annual reports to shareholders, reports kept by local chambers of commerce, trade journals, and business indexes such as Hoover's Business Index and Dun & Bradstreet. Thank you for watching. If you have a topic for a training video you would like created, then leave your choice in the comments section. Also like or thumbs up this video. If you would like information on how to start your own business, which includes how to get government grants, how to write a business plan, how to select your business name, how to use free internet marketing to advertise your business, and much, much more, then visit www.briansmahoneyonline.com and don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more than over 1,000 free training videos we will be creating and uploading. Thanks again for watching and make it a great day.